In the emerald heart of Ireland where mist clung to ancient ruins and laughter echoed in windswept meadows, there dwelt a unique pair. Siobhan, a weaver of extraordinary skill, her fingers danced on the loom weaving stories into beautiful tapestries. Her threads, spun from heather and moonlight, whispered tales of forgotten heroes and secret promises under starlit skies. Then there was Finn, a storyteller whose eyes held the depth of the peat bogs. His words painted vibrant landscapes with each breath. His laughter echoed the melody of rushing rivers. They were rivals, Siobhan and Finn, their tapestries and stories locked in a playful duel of imagination. Each knot in the yarn, each turn of phrase was a challenge, a yearning to capture the untamed spirit of their beloved Ireland. Yet beneath this creative clash their hearts beat in unison, dancing to a rhythm only they could hear, the forbidden dance between tradition and wanderlust. One starlit night drawn by the mournful wail of a banshee, they stumbled upon the crumbling ruins of Dun Angus. Here, under the watchful gaze of the moon, their hearts whispered what their lips had long kept silent. Siobhan, the weaver of ancient tales, and Finn, the bard who breathed life into them, confessed their love. Their words, soft as the night's breeze, echoed through the ruins, painting a tapestry of unspoken desires against the canvas of the night sky. Yet, their confession wasn't without its shadows. Siobhan's clan, guardians of weaving traditions older than the hills themselves, saw Finn as an unworthy partner for their beloved weaver. Finn, a free spirit, wrestled with the fear of losing his cherished freedom for the warmth of a hearth and home. And so, their love story became an intricate dance, a challenge twined into the very fabric of their existence, an unworthy thread in their tapestry. Their path was a winding trail through emerald hills and shadowed valleys. Love, often as elusive as the morning dew on a spider's web, was theirs in stolen moments, hidden amidst the whispering stones of Newgrange. Their whispered confessions, drowned by the boisterous music of Tealids, were sweet, secret symphonies that only they could hear. Their promises, as tender as the dawn's first light, were carried on the wings of migratory birds, vows whispered to the four winds and echoed in the rustling leaves. In this intricate dance of love and longing, their art became their solace, their sanctuary. Siobhan's tapestries, vibrant with the hues of their shared dreams, echoed Finn's stories, each thread a verse from his ballads. And Finn, his heart a quill dipped in the inkwell of their journey, wove his tales into the very fabric of her creations, his ballads woven into the very fabric of her creations. Then came the annual Face Keoil, a gathering of bards and weavers, a stage set for their hearts to perform the most defiant dance. Siobhan, with her nimble fingers, wove a tapestry of their forbidden love, each thread a streak of rebellion against the rigid lines of tradition. Finn, the bard with the heart of a wanderer, spun a tale of their journey, his voice a resonating lament that echoed in the hearts of all who listened. As they unveiled their creations, the air stilled, a hushed reverence replacing the festive buzz. The silence broke, replaced by the thunderous applause of a crowd moved not just by the beauty of their artistry, but by the courage they dared to bear. Their defiance stirred the hearts of their people, their love story woven into the very fabric of their art, their voices resonating with the power of a love that dared to defy tradition. For it wasn't just their skill that won the day, it was the courage they dared to weave into their work. In the end, it wasn't just their artistic mastery that won over the hearts of the judges, but the audacity of their defiance. Siobhan and Finn, these star-crossed artists, had crafted a masterpiece that dared to challenge tradition, pushing the boundaries of their art to new, unexplored frontiers. Their love story, once a secret whispered to the wind, became a legend in its own right, a tale spun by bards from the ragged cliffs of the Aran Islands to the bustling streets of Dublin. This legend was more than just a romantic tale, it was a vibrant tapestry woven with tales and music that reshaped the very fabric of their community. Their story, their love, their defiance, it all became a testament to the enduring power of love, a love that could bloom even in the shadow of ancient ruins. Their love, a vibrant tapestry woven with tales and music, became a legend sung by bards across the land, a testament to the power of love that could bloom even in the shadow of ancient ruins. We're so grateful you joined us for today's story. Life is an incredible journey filled with both challenges and joys. 
Remember, your positive spirit is a light that can brighten the darkest paths. We're excited to share more adventures with you. So be sure to join us tomorrow for another inspiring story. Take care, stay positive, and see you soon.